Hey guys, Emily here at the Wellington County Museum and Archives. We have two take-home crafts for you this week. One is a I Survived 2020 coronavirus ornament, and the other are some bird scene ornaments. Uh, stick around and I'll show you just how to make them. Okay, so to make our I Survived 2020 ornament, we need a couple things that I've laid out here for you. Uh, the first thing that you will need is a plastic clear ornament that looks a little bit like this. Um, you will also need the wooden dowels that are I've already attached to the ornament. Um, you will need some hot glue. You'll also need a Sharpie or a black marker, some string, a wooden tag, a paintbrush, and something to put the paint on. Then you'll also need some white paint, some red paint, some silver or gray paint, a jar with some water in it, and some orange pom-poms. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna start making our ornament here. Um, now the first thing that you'll need to do is you will need to attach the uh, wooden dowels and pom-poms to the plastic ornament using some hot glue. I've already went ahead and done this part, um, but you can see if you look very closely, there's a little bit of hot glue around the base of the dowels attaching it to the uh, plastic ornament, um, as well as the pom-poms here. Once you've done that, let it dry for a little bit and then we'll get on to the painting. So I'll move this over to the side for now. We're gonna start by painting the wooden tag. Um, now if you'd like, you can paint it white. You can also leave it plain if you want more of a rustic look. Um, but for mine, I'm gonna be painting it white. So I'm gonna use a little bit of white paint here. And then I'm going to paint this tag. Just a nice thin layer, not too thick. You might get a little paint on your hands with this craft. Okay. Just finish off a few edges here. Excellent. Okay. So now I've got my wooden tag painted. Um, I'm just gonna put it off to the side to let it dry. I'll put it over there. And I'm gonna rinse my brush in the water. All right. Now we're going to start adding the color for our coronavirus bacteria here. On the inside of the clear ornament, we're gonna be painting it gray. Um, so you can take your gray or silver paint, shake it up, put a little bit in your tray. This one's gonna be silver. And then we're going to put a coat of paint on the inside of the ornament here. just like this. You'll be able to see the color through because this plastic ornament is clear. And you may find that you have to do more than one coat. So what we can do is paint the first coat, let the inside dry while we go on to the next step, and then come back and paint another coat so it's a, a thicker color if that's what you're looking for. Um, because we are painting our coronavirus bacteria here, it doesn't have to be totally smooth and totally perfect because the bacteria, if you look at pictures, looks a little rough 
around the edges. So if there's some streaks or parts that don't have quite as much color, that is totally fine too. Okay, so I'm just gonna even this out just a little bit more. There we go. So you can see I've got the inside painted and you can see the color through. I'm going to just put this off to the side and I'm gonna do the next one. We're gonna do the same on the other side. The paint that I'm using is, is an acrylic paint, which you can find at most dollar stores and craft stores. just a little bit more perfect excellent there we go so we've got the silver or gray on the inside I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna rinse my brush off While we're letting the inside dry, I'm also going to paint the dowels, uh, the little wooden sticks that are sticking out of the ornament here. So I'm gonna use red for this. I'm gonna take my brush. Here we go. And then I'm gonna paint these wooden parts red. These ones will be a little bit more finicky to get painted. You can also see if you can add just a little bit of paint to cover the hot glue at the bottom, if it's possible. There we go. It's just a little bit, there we go, just a little bit tricky because my finger was in the way. Okay, got that one done, so I'm gonna just put it off to the side to dry and do the second half here. Same thing, we're gonna paint the wooden dowels red. One more, one last one. Okay, so rinse off your brush. 
and you can set this one off to the side too to dry. Now while we're waiting for our two um, halves of ornaments to dry, we can also take a Sharpie here and finish our tag. So we're gonna bring that wooden tag back. Now with the Sharpie, you can write whatever message you like. Um, I'm going to write, I survived 2020 on mine. I survived 2020. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll wait for these other uh, pieces to dry before we continue on to the last step. All right, we're ready for the last thing. Um, now that our uh, two ornament parts are dry, we're going to put them together. So we're just going to carefully slide them together. May need a little bit of a click. There we go. Excellent. Then we're gonna take a piece of string and we're going to thread it through the top part that has the hole for us to string it. And finally, we'll take that tag that you made and string it on too with your message that you wanted on it. And it's just gonna hang like so. At the very, very top, you can tie a knot to tie the two ends together. Tie it tightly. And there you have it, your very own I Survived 2020 Coronavirus ornament. Hope you guys enjoyed these crafts this week. Uh, stick around for next week. We have some other crafts that are coming up and check out our website to find out more at uh, www.wellington.ca museum. Bye.